All right, here today we're gonna to start off with our 2700 race series turbos in the 76 millimeter inducer sizes. Uh, the most common of those turbos is a T4 uh, flange system. This particular one has an 8782 wheel with a 1.10 AR ratio. From there, it's a little bit limited though. I mean, the T4s, they're always gonna be a little bit limited in terms of flow. So if you're really looking to add more horsepower, you might wanna consider this guy, which is our T6. It's a T6 with a 9688 wheel with a 132 AR, and it's big. What we have right here in the middle is the perfect mix of size and flow. It's a 1.30 AR V-band turbine inlet. This gets rid of a lot of weight and it keeps the packaging way more similar to the T4s, yet has all the flows of the T6. Again, all three cold sides uh, on the compressor side are the same, it's just the changes uh, to this. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and stack up to the 79 millimeters. All right, so we just showed off our 76 millimeter S476 turbos. Now we're gonna step it up to the 79s, what we call the S479s. Fairly similar in that all three compressors are the same on them, but this one has a T4 with an 8782 wheel. This one has a T6 with a 9688 wheel, and this is the V-band housing. Again, 9688, same AR, just a little bit more compact a little bit easier to fab with because you can rotate it and it just makes it easier to clock things. So with that, now we're gonna move up into the big boys. All right, so we're gonna step it up. We just talked about our S479s and we're gonna get into our S488. So these have an 88 millimeter compressor on basically all three turbos. Uh, at this point, you're not gonna find a T4 hot side. They're just too small. Uh, it's not gonna work. It doesn't flow enough to support that compressor. So what we've done is we've still given you three options, but this time you start off with a V-band and it is a basically a 9688 wheel. This one is the same wheel, 9688, but with a T6, a turbine inlet housing. And finally, this is another T6, but we move up to a 10392 wheel. So it's an even bigger wheel uh, on that side. So it's, it's even more full flowing. But I wanna mention this. We also have the 88s. They come with a V2 race cover. And this also includes a shaft speed sensor provision. It basically flows a lot more than the standard cover. And the next thing we're gonna do is basically kind of give you a, an idea of the scale from a 76 to a 79 to finally the 88 so you can kind of see like, okay, is that gonna fit my engine bay? It'll make it fit. All right, so we wanted to kind of give you a, an idea of the range of uh, the 2700 series race turbos right now. So we have the, a couple of our 76s, again, same compressor on both of them. Uh, this one with the V-band and this one with the T4 on the hot side. This one is actually a 79 millimeter. So physically, it's very similar in size to the 76s. However, you know, you got some more flow. And at this point, you know, you want to probably start thinking about a T6 uh, so that it's not a restriction. And then finally, we've got our 88, which is obviously bigger even yet. If you want to make big power, that is where it's at. So with that, uh, we're gonna have some of these dimensions actually listed up on our website. So it kind of gives you something to kind of scale and take a look inside your engine bay and figure out what am I gonna need to get this system fabbed up and everything connected together the way it should be. Okay, we wanted to detail a few differences here uh, between the 2600 Performance Series turbos and the 2700 Series Race turbos. 2600 uh, turbos, they are very similar to everybody's value turbos on the market. Good aero, good power, durable, you know, but just not a race turbo. So what makes a race turbo? Well, one of the biggest things is you're going to find that the compressor wheels are not only 3D milled for the extra flow, uh, but they're also forged. So they start off as a forging and then they cut them as a billet. So they're just going to be stronger than some of the other turbos out there on the market. So that's going to be what you're paying for is that reliability when you're driving a pro race car. That is what makes this. And on top of that, we want to mention the 2700 Race Series also feature a 360 degree thrust bearing rather than the standard 270s that you'll find on the Value Turbos. Plus, the aerodynamics are quite a bit better. There's a few changes here, but again, the big one is going to be that they are designed, they are machined, they are balanced, and they are precision final assembled here in North America. So that's going to be one of the big ones. Now we are gonna be adding some more to the performance line. We're gonna be adding some more to the race line. You know, we're gonna have more videos. We're gonna have more tech articles. We have some really nice, uh, uh, basically documentation to give you all the dimensions inside the turbo that are gonna help you make a good decision 
on what you need. And as always, you can call us up here at Summit Racing and we're going to give you a recommendation that's going to be pretty much spot on for your application. So with that, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell.